All right, in the last episode, I showed you how to, to install uh, the DSM for programming DSM tools on the uh, TX16S or update it. Uh, just a fresh, quick video just on that, uh, rather than a, one that's uh, buried in an hour long video somewhere. Uh, today's video, I'm going to do it on the uh, Radio Master Zorro. Uh, I haven't done any videos on this one yet, but uh, the uh, for programming, all that uh, full spectrum functionality is all in the uh, Zorro as well. The, the Boxer. Probably the Pocket. I don't know 100% on that one because I have not tested it. I don't know if the uh, Frankie, the developer, has tested it on the, the Pocket either, but there's no reason it shouldn't work. It's pretty much the same operating system, I think, as the, uh, the Zorro and the Boxer. Let's do that on this one. If you don't know, top port has a USB plug. That's where you do the uh, computer updates. The one on the bottom, of course, is for charging. When you plug in a USB, you're going to get a prompt if you want to use this for joystick mode. Or storage mode. I'm going to use this for storage mode for this purpose because we're going to want to read off the SD card. So put it on storage mode and then uh, click the wheel. So I'm going to put this aside now because we're going to do everything else on the computer just like the last episode. So as you can see here now this window popped up for me. This is my E drive. This is what uh, comes up when I plug my radios in. These are the files directly on my radio. Uh, but just like the last one I'm not going to use these files. Uh, I'm not going to manipulate these files uh, in this video. I already got the latest and greatest on here. I'm going to use a backup for the demonstration. So I'm going to close this window out. As before, here's the uh, GitHub for Frankie Arzu. This is the DSM tools uh, where he's got the Ford programming telemetry. Now I'm going to do it the way I normally do it, where I'm just grabbing all these contents. Whenever there's an update, I'll just grab them all. Again, if you don't want to do that, you can look at the old video, but I just went down into these specific folders and you can grab the black and white. The latest is the 0.58 version. Uh, again, I'm just going to use the, the entire tools. When I'm on this main page, if you hit code, download the zip right here, and it's going to ask you where you want to put it. Uh, if it doesn't ask you, it's going to put it in your downloads folder, so I'll just know where to find that. It's going to be a zip file. I've already done it because I did it in that last video, so I'm going to hit cancel on that. That's all you need to do on the uh, the GitHub page. Now, if you have uh, if you want to read through this, you can look at some of the details, give some instruction. There's some uh, screenshots and things in here. So now let's jump over to my uh, desktop folders. Uh, here is where I downloaded that DSM tools main. That's the zip file that I downloaded in the last episode. Over here on the right, you can see I've got two copies of Zorro folders. Now these would be similar to your radio. Uh, this first one here, I don't have any DSM tools on it. Let me make this a little bit bigger. Okay, this second folder, I have them on there, but they're older versions. So I'm going to, again, I'm going to show you how to update it if you don't have any on there now. And then also show you how to do the update because it's a little bit different procedure. Okay, so let's start with the, uh, uh, I don't have it, uh, this is be the radio, I don't have it on at all. So let's go into that one. This is to be what you would see on your radio. Um, again, I'll remind you, back up the contents of your SD card if you uh, when you pull up your radio, copy all those files. Let me do it again just to make sure if uh, somebody's going to complain if I don't go to the, uh, they don't want to go back to the old video. Okay, here's my E-Drive. Okay, so if I'm doing this for the first time, I've never plugged my radio in, I don't have a backup of it, or I'm getting ready to change something. This is on my radio. This is actually on the radio. So copy all these. Okay, click the top one, hold shift, click the bottom one, or just drag over the entire contents. Uh, right click, click copy or you can just drag and drop uh, create yourself a backups folder so if I was going to back this up I would hit new folder backups you know call it whatever you want so you know how to find it what it is backups Zorro go in there now if I wanted to back this up I could just grab that drag it over to this one I could copy that or hit copy and then come over here and hit paste you know there's several ways to do it but the point is, make sure that you back that up before you fiddle with these contents. If it's a, Number one, it's always good to have a backup because you can always, it takes you two seconds to fix a radio problem if you have a backup. If you don't, you're starting from scratch. So there you go. That's my perfect public service announcement. Okay, so I don't need this uh, backups folder. Let's get rid of that. Uh, okay, so now let's start with the uh, Zorro that does not have the tools on it. I'm going to go into there. Let's pretend this is my radio. Uh, now I'm going to go to forward programming for starters. Now this one is a black and white, 128 by 64. Let me back up and zoom in on that so you can see it. Okay, so this is the black and white, 128 by 64. Here's version 5.4, 5.5, 5.6, 5.6, 5.7, 5.7, 5.6, 5.7, 5.8, 5.9, 5.10, 5.11, 5.12, 5.13, 5.14, 5.15, 5.16, 5.17, 5.18, 5.19, 
5.8. For the black and white smaller radios, there's two files for the uh, for programming script. Let me, let me open up this one. Okay, so 5.8 is our newest one. Let's right click on that, extract all. It's going to ask you if you want to rename the folder. If just, I usually just do no. Okay, so you can see now th these are zip folders with the zipper on it. This is all the contents that we need uh, or that we may need for the new version. The models folder is just going to create a DSM data folder in your models folder on your radio. Scripts, tools, these are the two for programming scripts that you need and also includes the DSM lib folder that uh, has the message files and stuff. Okay, the difference between the the TX16S and the Zorro and the other black and white radios is la la uh, that they have lower memory. They had to break up the Lua scripts into two different scripts to uh, handle it all and keep the memory usage down. First one is the, uh, the it's called STEP, but it's, it stands for setup. So when you get a uh, set up a new model, the first thing you need to do is run this setup program. And that's where you tell it what uh, wing type, tail type, uh, if you've got two aileron servos, one aileron servos, if it's flapper on, that sort of thing. That's where you configure all that. Uh, you reverse the servo channels, all that stuff is done in the setup, and then it creates the DSM data file for that model. Once you have that, then you can go into the uh, DSM for programming 5.8 min. Min just means that it's the lower memory usage. If you try to go into that before you've ran the setup program, you'll get an error. If you do, it'll pop up on the screen. Just hold the, the RTN or the return button down for a few seconds and it'll exit out of that. So let's back up for a brand new one. Uh, you just copy both of these and then you paste those onto your radio uh, SD card. It didn't look like it changed anything, but now if I go into my models, you'll see now I have a DSM data folder. Now if I go into the uh, scripts and tools, you can see that I have the DSM lib folder and all its files. And then I also have the two uh, minimum and set up uh, Lua scripts for the DSM for programming. We're also going to want to get the DSM telemetry. That's going to give you the capability to program the uh, AVN ESCs, uh, get the, uh, the spectrum flight log with the fades, the holes, and all that, battery data. There's a lot of stuff you can get from that. GPS, the sky IDs in there. So DSM telemetry, and this is going to be the, actually the same file that's used on the, uh, the larger uh, TX16S. It's the same tools, uh, SmartRx telemetry. Uh, I mentioned it in the other episode, but the uh, AR-636 script here is only for the uh, helicopter with the AR-636 receiver. So it probably doesn't apply to many of you. It's a discontinued receiver, but uh, there's some out there. If you want that and use it, there are some useful tools in there. But for most of us, just grab the DSM SmartRx telemetry, copy that. And uh, let me back up just so you can see where I'm at. This is back in my radio that didn't previously have it. Go into your scripts. Go to Tools, and just paste that into your Tools folder uh, alongside your forward programming scripts. And now I have that. So now on the radio, I'm going to have the ability to go and do the AVN setups and the forward programming. That's all you got to do. Section number two, let's back up. Now uh, now we're going to do it if you already have it on the radio. Here's my uh, uh, simulated Zorro that already has forward programming and all the tools and stuff on it. Let's... Uh, Zoom out on those. So same thing. We'll see that this radio uh, has, if I go to the models, you can see I've already got the DSM data and I've already have some files in there. You don't need to mess with that because it already has it. So let's back out of that. I'm going to go into the, the DSM for programming over here on the left. This is the new files I've just downloaded. Go to the black and white. Uh, we've already extracted that. If you didn't, just right click, extract all. I'm going to go in there. Remember, I don't need this models folder because it's already there. If you do it, it's not going to hurt anything because it exists already. It shouldn't overwrite anything. But uh, the only one you need is to go to the scripts, tools, and you're going to need all three of these. Before you do that, this is important. Go to your scripts over here on your radio. Let's go back over here to the right. Go to your scripts, go to tools, and you need to delete the DSM lib folder, the old one. So uh, I'm going to click the the top one there and then i'm going to hold shift and i'm going to get rid of all of these uh, uh old version 5.7 scripts remember you're going to get rid of the lua and the lua c and it won't hurt if you leave it on there but it's just not necessary the, but it's very important that you delete the dsm lib 
uh, folder with its file. So I'm going to delete all these and I hit delete. The SmartRx hasn't been updated for a while, but if you are updating that, uh, you can delete these as well. I'll just go ahead and do that. Uh, delete those. So now all the DSM tool stuff is missing or gone out. It's been deleted and cleared off. So now I'll go back over here to the folders that we, uh, files and folders that we just downloaded. These are the new versions. Grab these, copy, or drag and drop. Uh, if I drag and drop right now, just because it's on the same hard drive, it's going to move. You can see there it says move tools. It's going to take them off of this folder and move them over there. So I don't want to do that. If you're moving them onto your radio, it's just going to copy them instead of that. So for this uh, demonstration, I'm just going to hit copy. And in this tools folder, then I'm going to hit right click and then I'm going to paste it. Now I've added my new updated forward programming Lua scripts and I've got the new DSM lib folder with its files. Now the last thing I need to add is my DSM smart RX. Let's back up. So the DSM telemetry. This is the folder we already extracted. This is the latest. Uh, dig down to that. The DSM smart RX telemetry. Right click on that. Copy. Paste it over here. And uh, now my radio is updated. Uh, the main thing that you need to remember when you're doing an update versus a new installation is to delete this old DSM lib folder with its files. If you leave that, it's going to get errors because the new uh, forward programming is going to have wrong messages and different uh, parameters that may not match up to the, the new version. So make sure that you delete that. That's the important thing. That's all you need to do to do the update uh, or, you know, the first part. If you're installing it fresh, that's how you do it. Now, what you can do on your uh, on your Zorro and your tools, you can see that you've got the forward programming, minimum, the setup, and the SmartRx telemetry. Um, just remember that if you've never ran this before, you need to, uh, for each model, you need to run this setup one first, and then you run the, uh, the minimum. The setup one you can run without having it bound and connected to a receiver because you're not actually connected to the receiver with the setup. This is all local on the radio and you're creating those DSM data files for each model. So if I click on that, you're setting up the, uh, you can see here, you're setting up the uh, aircraft setup type, uh, wing and tail configurations. This is where you would reverse the channels. Uh, once you reverse the channels here, it updates that DSM data file. Then you go into the actual forward programming and do the, the relearn servo settings and it'll uh, it capture that data to reverse if your gyro is moving the, the servos the wrong direction. So as you can see, uh, you do have that capability from the Zorro and the Boxer and the uh, little black and white radios. See, now it's going to ask you to save it, and that writes that DSM data file. I'm just going to hit discard because this is a simulator uh, model I've got. So, hope that's helpful. Um, but, uh, yeah, we've got full functionality. Also, with the, uh, the uh, introduction of that new 3.x firmware on Spectrum, uh, we've now got all the capabilities that we can with that. You can go through, do all the AS3X Plus setup, and everything should work. So... Thanks for watching.